Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. This is Pixel Experience Plus version for Poco X3. You can see here Android version 13 it is and the build date you can see here. It is 2023 116. I mean January 16th build. Kernel user is 4.14.190 LAUM 9.1.R1 13,000. This is the kernel used here. And the baseband version you can read. And the 5th January 2023 is the latest security patch available. It's not an official build. Yes, you can read here. It's an unofficial. From long time we been seeing this kind of builds here. Is it good? Is it good for daily driver and all the gcam ports and uh, other gaming experience how is it and day-to-day -day life is it better everything will be explained in detail in this video stay tuned till the end of the video and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's move further i have been running the cpu throttling test from last six minutes and 36 seconds and five milliseconds you can see the scores here the maximum is 187 and average is 181 and minimum is 159 and it is throttle to 95 percent of its max performance which is good in my opinion this is very good rom available for poco x but it's an unofficial state now but they have mentioned it's a stable build that is pixel experience plus you can read the scores and you can see the graph according to cp throttling app it's very good and day-to-day -day performance is also very good i am using this particular rom from last 12 hours now and this is a quick settings panel you can see how smooth the animation and how smooth it is handling and if you slide like this you get other toggles if you want some more you can dive into edit section and add them just by dragging them if you don't want that do the vice versa that's how it is it's working fine all the toggles are also working fine here i have never faced any problems regarding that and there's a typical app drawer you get if you come back here it's a home screen here if you tap and hold here you get a number of wallpapers included here if i go into wallpapers and style again you need to go to change wallpapers here you get feathers has been included here and come alive options are also given and some of the other wallpapers are present in this particular rom and wallpaper colors and basic colors you get this kind of combination of colors and single colors there are plenty of options here as you can see dark theme is available here as you can see there is an option let me show you and themed icons is still in beta it looks like this as you can see if you want to enable that in the drawer, you need to change that and upgrade you get up to 5 into 5. And that's how it is. And regarding the home settings, like it's in pixel launcher, obviously, notification dots, it's available here. Suggestions, search your phone, these things you can customize here. And widgets, again, you get basic widgets and even the battery widget is also included here. If you want, you can drag them and add into your home screen it's fine here and this quick settings panel you get settings and power button mode downwards if you are watching after android 12 12.1 l this is the visual change you only see in the android 13 apart from that you won't see anything and i recently seen lot of videos i made a lot more videos on pixel experience wrong there is one problem that this toggle was not present currently it's present here i can switch between automatic brightness sensor and uh, normal I can disable that that's really good thing it's present in this particular rom for poco x slash nfc it's very good and you can watch my flashing method of shorts video i recently made for lineage a similar method use the same firmware 13.0.4 ea global and flash this rom zip file instead of lineage that's it you will never face any problems while flashing and this is the typical settings panel you get as you can see it's smooth here I haven't faced any issues here and apps you get basic settings here if you want to change the default apps for example browser app if you want to use it as a different browser then you can make it out from here and assistant features are also given which will work fine no problem regarding that unused apps you can see from here app battery usage also you can check out all apps optimized restricted for example if i see here there is no app is restricted here these are the apps those are optimized if you want to remove them for example the pubg mobile game it is optimized if you want to use like background without restriction then you can unrestrict it those features are available here special app access again you get lots of options here you need to check out once you flash the pixel experience plus rom
the january 16th build and now coming into sound and vibration again you can see here basic settings are also given here nothing new here adaptive sound is given smart pause is given media player sh shortcut to prevent ringing default notification sounds and uh, other settings like vibrate to indicate call status and me sound enhancer the direct sound settings included with hi-fi audio system you can select the scene and even the preset and the headphone type those all the direct sound settings given here and clear speaker option is also included in the sound settings now moving into battery here the battery usage as you can see it's very good i can say it's a balanced rom available if you are not in a gaming or anything like that you want clean and clean ui then you can look out this particular rom as you can see it's very good rom in terms of battery life uh, yeah you, it will never beat the spark os or arrow os but it can have very good battery life that's my verdict for this battery life at least okay this is the extreme battery saver you got all the picture features here it's simple no customization just it named as plus and you can see the charging animation it is showing currently charging slowly only as you can see I don't know what's the problem from previous ROMs. I am using 33 watt charger itself. It is showing charging slowly only, even after certain minutes, as you can see. 77. It should mention at least charging rapidly or turbo charging is supported. No, it is still showing the charging slowly only. I will try it later some more minutes and i will update in the comment section do check out my comment section and you can see here there's the problem i am noticing from many roms right now and again display settings you get basic settings here colors you can choose between these four options minimum maximum refresh rate kept to 60 hz and notch behavior if you want you can hide it out tap to wake and sleep are working fine here wake on plug refresh rate per app also you can choose here additional display features don't enable this if you enable that and if you play the game the smartphone will get warm not warm it will get overheated accessibility menu which is there handy feature without actually using this physical buttons and without dragging the notification toggle you can access some of the options which is a handy feature you should definitely try it out in this particular from vibration and haptics again you get all the intensity options here you can enable or disable and you can adjust them this is the customizations available in accessible tv menu now moving into security options you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock there is no app locker, obviously it's a pixel experience room. Let me show you the face unlock first. As you can see, I haven't registered or what. I have registered it, but it is unable to open it like this. Let me open this with fingerprint unlock at least. Yeah, it is fast, not the fastest, but the face unlock should work. okay the face unlock is not working that much it is working but it's not as fast as some other ROMs that's the one thing I can they can improve in the upcoming build I have added and privacy settings you get all these settings here nothing fancy location is also working fine the Google Maps and the other app settings let's move to that only the safety net status it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay you know sb whatever you want to use those going to work fine without any problem but you need to be secure it with app lock or anything like that don't hand over your smartphone to others then again don't complain to custom roms that's not going to happen it's all depends upon your responsibility it is to handle safely and securely and the other things like camera you get basic camera here it's not going to be any G camera or anything like that. You get just options here. Video options are also allowed. For basic thing, it's fine. If you're advanced user in terms of camera, then you can use the G cam ports. Lot more G cam ports are available for Poco X slash NFC. And there information again you get here level one certification. You can watch all the OTT application in high definition resolution. That's not the problem here. And benchmark results like Geekbench, you can see here. 
okay i already run it history you can see the single score is 514 and multi score 1671 which is good in my opinion the kernel as i said before 4.14.190 is the kernel is and enter the benchmark results you can see also see the app opening time 3,69,924 and temperature raise was 1.7 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3 percent as i said it's normal battery draining happening here it's not heavy or it's not even very good efficient drop it's normal here and i have 100 mps fiber connection it's pulling up to 92 95 which is also working fine even the mobile data connection also the 4g plus are working fine and now moving to dialer here you can see direct video call feature is available get the most of your phone app some features required mic access it seems tap okay that's fine they are asking it go into app info and enable the microphone access here it is available hello only using that but why it is showing like that let's open again and make a dial here okay have i disabled mic access here yeah that's why it is not going to make any call that's how it is guys it's an handy feature now it is going to make a call and there is call recording feature also it will announce the other person that you are recording the call that's how it is this is a pixel experience place rom and regarding pubg mobile let's see how it handles in this particular rom you guys hope i can show you this the graphic settings as you can see smooth plus ultra only nothing fancy here you won't get any ifs count in this particular rom it's a pixel experience rom obviously you won't get any miscellaneous settings to increase or decrease the fps count gameplay is fine according to 40 fps the gameplay is fine it is fine It doesn't mean I'm making more kills, it's a gaming ROM, not like that. The experience is checked here. It is fine for 40 FPS game. It's not making any lag or anything like that. But definitely the high FPS will make even better. Okay. I was running out of the ammo and mag was also not present magazine that's it this is the pixel experience plus most requested video for poco x i do know pixel experience is somewhat importance has been given for any smartphone but we don't have official builds for this uh, so i was not making that much but this is they mentioned stable enough now it is stable after testing it I don't face any problems here let's check the right once again it is support that 33 watt charging or not let's check that yeah it is supporting that 33 watt charging you need to wait for certain time then it will show you charging rapidly this are the pixel experience plus rom for poco x slash nfc if you like the video give it like and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button guys and this is how the recent apps looks like you can select the text and you can take the screenshot here that's it guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now